गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेरी वेल एंड टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज फॉर ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ ऑफ फेब्रुवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर लेट स्टार्ट विद आवर सेशन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज धर्मा गार्डियन एक्सरसाइज रिसेंटली सीन इन द न्यूज इज कंडक्टेड बिटवीन विच टू कंट्रीज सो द फिफ्थ एडिशन ऑफ दिस ज्वाइंट मिलिट्री एक्सरसाइज बिगैन in the state of rajasthan and it would be conducting from 25th of february up to 9th of march 2024 so it involves the indian army and japan ground self defense forces which emphasizes joint tactical maneuvers in a simulated semi urban setting so basic aim is to enhance interoperability and strengthen military cooperation that would align with the chapter 7 of united nations charter okay simply you have to remember two things which two countries are involved in the dharma guardian exercise answer is india and japan and the second thing is what is the venue for this year's dharma guardian exercise answer is rajasthan india okay now let's have a look at some of the important exercises that came into news which of the following countries participated in exercise dosti recently seen in the news so these three countries are India, Sri Lanka, and Maldives. Where was the multinational military exercise Shanti Prayas Four organized? It was organized in Kathmandu. Okay. Next is where will the exercise Vayu Shakti Twenty Four be held? It took place in Pokhran, in the state of Rajasthan. Exercise Sada Tanseek recently seen in the news is conducted between which two countries? This is the exercise between India and Saudi Arabia. Which two other countries participated in exercise Desert Night conducted by the Indian Air Force? So exercise Desert Night involves three countries, which are these: India, France, and UAE. Okay. Here they are asking which two other countries participated along with Indian Air Force. So answer would be France and UAE. Exercise Khanjar recently seen in the news is conducted between which two countries? This is the exercise between India and Kyrgyzstan. Okay. Next is. Atukal Pongala festival recently seen in the news is celebrated in which Indian state So this is the world's largest women's congregation festival and it extends globally with devotees observing the rituals in the US and the UK So it is celebrated annually at Kerala's Atukal temple and this event spans 10 days basically it starts on the Karthigai star of the Malayalam month of Makaram or Kumbham and on the ninth day this pongala mahotsav occurs which features the ritualistic preparation and offering of a sweet payasam to the goddess bhagwati and this day signifies the festival's cultural and religious significance right simply we have to remember that atukal pongala festival belongs to kerala state b option is the right answer now let's see some of the important festivals that came into news the first one is aho bilam paruvita festival Recently seen in the news is celebrated in which Indian state? This festival belongs to Andhra Pradesh. Which district of Madhya Pradesh recently organized a banana festival? This is Banana City of Madhya Pradesh, named as Burhanpur. Burhanpur recently celebrated a banana festival. Ruzuma Orange Festival recently seen in the news is celebrated in which Indian state? This orange festival belongs to Nagaland. Recently international camel festival was started in which city of India answer is Bikaner in the state of Rajasthan The popular sunburn electronic dance music festival that was recently in news is related to which state or the union territory This music festival is celebrated in the state of Goa and Nagi bird festival recently seen in the news is associated with which Indian state answer is Bihar state okay Next is Recently Bihar state government signed an agreement with which bank to promote the startup ecosystem Here answer is SIDBI that is the Small Industries Development Bank of India So SIDBI and the Bihar Startup Fund Trust signed an agreement to manage the Bihar Startup Scale Up Financing Fund and this agreement was signed by the director of Department of Industries for the government of Bihar Mr Pankaj Dikshit and the general manager of sidbi who is it arjit dat okay so this agreement aims to create a favorable environment for the startups and turn bihar into a startup hub 
and this collaboration will manage the fund as a fund of funds model so this means that the fund will be uh, contributing to sebi registered alternative investment fund which will then invest in a startup fine so bihar state government has signed this agreement with sibi to promote the startup ecosystem in the state fine now here our keyword is bank and let's have a look at some banking related current affairs recently ireda and which bank signed a memorandum of understanding to co finance renewable energy project here answer is punjab national bank which bank of india recently collaborated with aims to launch the smart payment card for cashless transaction answer is state bank of india recently they have collaborated with aims so as to launch the smart payment card for cashless transactions recently which one of the following banks signed a pact for upi and pi linkage here answer is reserve bank of india along with nepal rashtra bank recently which bank has clinched the title of best technology bank of the year award this award has been presented to south indian bank and who's the current md and ceo of south indian bank mr p seshadri recently wit institution launched north india's first human dna bank under make in india initiative this is bhu that is banaras hindu university they have launched india's very first human dna bank under make in india initiative next question is solar energy corporation of india limited has successfully commissioned india's largest battery energy storage system that is bess in which indian state so solar energy corporation of india has successfully commissioned india's largest battery energy storage system in chhattisgarh state and it is funded by the world bank and the clean technology fund so this project utilizes battery storage so as to store the solar energy for peak demand in the evening and uh, it incorporates bifacial solar panels that would capture direct and reflected light that would actually increase the electricity generation so this innovation is estimated to save tons of carbon dioxide emissions annually which marks a significant milestone in sustainable energy solution right the solar energy corporation of india limited has successfully commissioned india's largest bess in the state of chhattisgarh fine now let's see some state related current affairs the first one is ntpc renewable energy limited recently inaugurated its first solar project in which indian state here answer is rajasthan and ntpc renewable energy limited inaugurated its very first solar project in the state of rajasthan this is the 70 megawatt project and it is designed to produce 370 million units annually and it is the part of ntpc's renewable energy expansion strategy okay also ntpc is developing india's largest floating solar power plant in the state of telangana fine so your correct answer is rajasthan bay thailand recently seen in the news is located in which indian state so it lies in the state of gujarat and why it came into news because prime minister narendra modi inaugurated the sudarshan setu which is india's longest cable straight bridge spanning to 2.32 kilometers over the arabian sea and it connects the bait dwarka to mainland okha in the state of gujarat and it features a unique design with the bhagavad gita adorned food path and lord krishna images so this bridge incorporates solar panels that generates 1 megawatt of electricity and it costs nearly 979 crore rupees fine so bait dwarka is a small island with uh, different temples and it has the coral reefs at the gulf of kutch mouth okay so bait island lies in the state of gujarat savera a program for early breast cancer detection recently launched by which indian state here answer is haryana who is the current chief minister of haryana mr manohar lal khattar and he has launched the savera program which is a pioneering initiative for early detection and prevention of the breast cancer in women so it is developed with the medanta foundation and health department and savera actually utilizes visually impaired women's heightened tactile sensitivity for the breast cancer screenings which would enable earlier detection of abnormalities and improving treatment outcomes fine so savera is a program for early breast cancer detection and recently it has been launched by haryana state recently which state established a special fund to save purple frog in the western ghats 
Here answer is Tamil Nadu state. Tamil Nadu has established a special fund to conserve the purple frog which is considered as a living fossil that is coexist with the dinosaur. So what is the ICN status of this purple frog? Answer is near threatened. Okay. So they are categorized as near threatened and they are under schedule one of the Wildlife Protection Act. Fine. Solar Energy Corporation of India Limited has successfully commissioned India's largest battery energy storage system in which Indian state? This is a repeated question and answer is Chhattisgarh state. Recently, where was the 13th Ministerial Conference of the World Trade Organization held? So the 13th Ministerial Conference of the World Trade Organization started at the Abu Dhabi National Exhibition Center in Abu Dhabi, UAE from 26th to 29th of February. And this conference will bring together the trade ministers from around the world so as to review the multilateral trading system and uh, chart the WTO's future courses. So priority items on the agenda includes, for example, reforming the WTO's dispute settlement function and new disciplines so as to eliminate the fisheries subsidies that encourage overfishing. Fine. So what was the venue for the 13th Ministerial Conference of the World Trade Organization? Answer is the option that is Abu Dhabi. Now let's see some of the important conferences that were in news. The first one is where was the 7th Indian Ocean Conference held? It took place in Australia. Where was the Commonwealth Attorneys and Solicitors General Conference held? This conference took place in New Delhi. Where was the first national conference on the promotion of seaweed cultivation held? Answer is Kutch in the state of Gujarat. Where was the 84th All India Presiding Officers Conference held? Answer is Mumbai. And last one is where was the 44th All India Criminology Conference of the National Forensic Science University held? Answer is Gandhi Nagar in the state of Gujarat. Okay. The next one is Sudarshan Setu, the nation's longest cable straight bridge, recently inaugurated in which Indian state? So, Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated India's longest cable straight bridge, Sudarshan Setu, in Gujarat's Dwarka, as we have seen already. It would connect Okha and the Beit Dwarka Islands. Fine. So, this is a 979 crore rupees infrastructure project and it spans in 2.32 kilometers that symbolizes India's dedication to progress and connectivity. Fine. So, Sudarshan Setu is the nation's longest cable straight bridge and recently it has been inaugurated in the state of Gujarat. Now, let's have a look at some of the important and the recent inaugurations. What is the purpose of the Purple Fest recently inaugurated by the President of India? So, President Draupadi Murmu inaugurated the Purple Fest at Amrit Udyan in Rashtrapati Bhavan and it was organized by the Department of Empowerment of Persons with Disabilities and this event actually follows the success of International Purple Fest that took place in Goa. Okay? So, over 10,000 Divyangjans along with their Azores gathered for inclusive and interactive stalls focusing on accessibility inclusion and disability rights. So key activities include for example Amrit Udyan visit, Know Your Disabilities, Purple Cafe and uh, Purple Live Experience Zone and Purple Sport. So what is the purpose of Purple Fest? Here answer is to empower the persons with disabilities. Okay. Prime Minister of India recently inaugurated National Institute of Naturopathy named as Nisarg Gram in which Indian city. Here your answer is Pune and Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the National Institute of Naturopathy called as Nisarg Gram in Pune, Maharashtra. It is named after Mahatma Gandhi's Nature Cure Campaign and the campaign includes a hospital, multidisciplinary research center, extension services center and the Naturopathy Medical College. And this institute is a significant step towards promoting the natural healing methods and holistic healthcare, right? So he has inaugurated the National Institute of Naturopathy in Pune. Where was the Maritime Technical Exposition that is Amtex 24 inaugurated? It was inaugurated in Vishakha, Patna. Ministry of Education and Skill Development and Entrepreneurship recently inaugurated the country's first Skill India Center in which Indian state? Here answer is Odisha state. And last is where was the first child friendly police station inaugurated? So the very first child friendly police station has been inaugurated 
in the state of Maharashtra so as to strengthen the child juvenile justice system. Okay. Next is which company recently signed a memorandum of understanding with iCreate to advance the artificial intelligence startups in India? So the International Center for Entrepreneurship and Technology, uh, which is known as basically iCreate, they have signed a memorandum of understanding with Microsoft and it would facilitate the AI startups in India. So this partnership is in line with Prime Minister Narendra Modi's vision and it aims to support the artificial intelligence startups in both big cities and in smaller towns or villages. And this collaboration launches the IMPEL AI program, which would screen 1100 innovators to become AI most valuable players. And it would focus on different themes like healthcare, financial inclusion, sustainability, education, agriculture and smart cities. So top 25 startups will receive go to market support from Microsoft's global network. Fine. So Microsoft has recently signed this MOU with iCreate so as to advance the AI startups in India. Okay. Now here our keyword is company and let's have a look at some of the companies that came into news. Recently, which company became the first Indian company to surpass 20 lakh crore rupees in market capitalization? It is Reliance Industries. Recently, which neurotechnology company has embedded the first computer chip in a human brain? Here answer is Neuralink. Recently, which Indian company launched India's first artificial intelligence unicorn named as Krutrim? It is Ola. Which international company is planning to establish a semiconductor plant in Sanand in the state of Gujarat? Here answer is Simtech. And the last one is which company has recently announced an initiative named as Artificial Intelligence Odyssey? To skill 1 lakh developers in India on AI technology. Answer is Microsoft. Okay. Next is recently which country aims to produce 1 to 5 lakh tons of hydrogen per year by the end of 2030. This is the country Vietnam. They are targeting annual hydrogen production of 1 to 5 lakh tons of hydrogen per year by the end of 2030 which is a key element in its energy transition. And uh, this nation plans to scale up the output to 10 to 20 million tons by the end of 2050, which incorporates the green hydrogen and it would showcase a strong commitment to the sustainable energy initiatives and it would contribute to global decarbonization efforts. Fine. So Vietnam aims to produce 1 to 5 lakh tons of hydrogen per year by the end of 2030. Okay. Let's see some international current affairs. Recently, which country has withdrawn its participation from Russia-led security bloc collective security treaty organization? Here answer is Armenia. And this country has announced that they have suspended their participation in the collective security treaty organization. And according to a Russian expert, this is a result of recent agreements with France and a move to work with Western nations for military cooperation. And talking about CSTO, that is Collective Security Treaty Organization, it is a Russian-led regional military bloc that was established in the year 2002. Okay. Which country's first fifth generation aircraft, the Khan, completed its maiden flight? Answer is Turkey. Recently, which country was removed from the financial crime watch list of Financial Action Task Force? This country is UAE. Recently, which country became the first Asian country to ratify International Labour Organization Convention to end the workplace violence and the harassment? Here answer is Philippines country. Mobile World Congress 2024 is recently hosted by which country? Answer is Spain. Okay. Next is, what is the name of the payload by which Aditya L1 satellite detected solar wind impact of coronal mass ejections? So this is the plasma analyzer package for Aditya that is PAPA and uh, this payload on the Aditya L1 satellite detected the impact of coronal mass ejections on solar wind and this payload is an energy and mass analyzer that measures the solar wind electrons in ions. It contains basically two sensors, the solar wind electron energy probe and the solar wind ion composition analyzer. Fine. So here correct answer is plasma analyzer package for Aditya. Here our keyword is satellite 
and now in the next slide let's see some of the important satellites that came into news first one is which middle eastern country recently launched the mahada kaihan 2 and hatef 1 satellites as seen in the news all of these satellites belong to the country iran so a satellite which was seen in the news is launched by which country this satellite belongs to iran einstein probe a new astronomical satellite was recently launched by which country so this is a new astronomical satellite of the country china which public sector space enterprise will launch india's gsat 20 satellite aboard a spacex rocket later in 2024 answer is new space india limited okay and the last one is tempo means tropospheric emissions monitoring of pollution sensor satellite has been launched by whom so it was launched by nasa okay now the last question is recently indian ghadiyal which is a critically endangered crocodile species has been sighted in which national park so indian ghadiyal is a critically endangered crocodile species that has been sighted in kaziranga national park and the first evidence of this ghadiyal was recorded in dibru saikhova national park in the year 2022 actually ghadiyal is one of the largest river dwelling crocodile species in the world and they are almost on the verge of extinction so ghadiyal can be found in tributaries of the ganga river system including the girwa san ram ganga gandak chambal and mahanadi rivers okay so indian ghadiyal which is a critically endangered crocodile species they have been sighted in kaziranga national park in the state of assam okay if you talk about the locations of uh, all the national parks that are given in the options so namdefa national park lies in arunachal pradesh kaziranga lies in assam manas also lies in assam and nokrek national park lies in meghalaya state okay now let's see the iucn status of some of the important species the first one is what is the iucn status of olive redly turtles so their iucn status is vulnerable what is the iucn status of black necked crane so they are near threatened what is the iucn status of indian grey wolf these are least concerned species what is the iucn status of great indian bustard they are critically endangered species and what is the iucn status of gangetic dolphin so they are endangered species and last is what is the iucn status of indian vulture they are also critically endangered species so with this we are winding up our session and now let's start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past 2 3 days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself so that's it for today i hope you have liked the session these were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this minus hatsana signing off